It's another Sunday here in England. Beautiful sunny day, but actually it's like winter out there. Although it's springtime already, because it's quite cold, that's why I'm a little bit wrapped up today. Well, England is still in a state of mourning because Prince Philip just died. And we are giving our lovely tribute to him. And of course, sending our best wishes to the Queen for that wonderful time they have together. And of course, it's also good to reminisce how they were such a powerful couple for us here in the UK and across the world to the Commonwealth countries, of course. Well, apart from that today, I'm off to visit some garden centers and check out some of the spring plants. Well, of course, Ernie's driving for me again. He's concentrating on the road. But right now, it's me just talking to you that we are going to buy some plants that we can put into our garden. Since we moved into our house, this garden has given us so much joy. So today, let's visit some garden centers and check out what they have. Okay, stay where you are. So guys, hello again. I've just made it to here in Bosworth Garden Center and I'm about to wear my mask because it's compulsory because you know what as I make this vlog it's still the time of pandemic the Sun is glorious it's unbelievably amazing and look if you can see the roof of that building there in May Elton Hall will be open so I'll be taking you to vlog about the place it's so beautiful inside and I'm so excited to show that to you but right now I'm heading into the garden see you in a bit Welcome to Bosworth's here in Elton. They took over the running of the garden center in May 2018, making this the second site. The center lies within the walled grounds of Elton Hall in Elton, a small picturesque village on the Cambridgeshire Northamptonshire border, located just off the A605 between Aundel and Peterborough. This site has a wonderfully relaxed and inviting atmosphere. Many of the plants within Elton Hall's gardens will be available to purchase in the plant center. This area is surrounded by mature trees, makes a beautiful backdrop for choosing your plants. Towards the rear of the plant area is a secret garden which grows fruit and vegetables many of which are used in the Mulberry Cafe. Heading inside, you will find a garden shop with all your gardening essentials leading through the Mulberry Cafe, offering breakfasts, light lunches, afternoon teas, cakes and drinks. On selected dates throughout the summer months, the gardens of Elton Hall are open to the public more details can be found at the Elton Hall website. So, if you don't, if you have got something for your garden and plan to be here, so try to visit this wonderful garden center here in Elton. visited this garden center for several times since we moved into the area actually this is one of the other branches one of the main branches that they have is in the other side just about a few minutes drive from where I live but we liked it here because it's quite spacious it's beautiful place to explore many things like I always wanted to have one like this <laughs> I want to have one like this in my garden exciting people or a water feature we now have a water feature in our garden I'd like to join their 
your loveliness. <laughs> and oh, yes! So, in this particular section, the pottery section, I am going to say hello to my lovely friend, Duchess of Thrift, because you know what? She is the queen of really re giving a new lease of life to all things, and that's why I'm standing here to say hello to my lovely friend, and of course, to lead to Uncle Lee. You know what's Uncle Lee? He loves gardening too, just like me. So, you know what? If you follow these wonderful friends, guys, and of course, to Yasmin Pasqual, she loves to feature all the plantitos and plantitas across the world. Thank you so much, Yasmin. <laughs> now, mabanga banga tadi. Siguro kung mahulog sa mga u, kung itugtong kuguro sa ulo, kung ang banga nga ini. Siguro daw, ano no, kuguro daw, panulay. Walking around here is just so pleasant and mesmerizing, especially if you're one person who loves pottery. Well, you can buy these different shapes, colors, and sizes of pottery and pots, which you can add as an added feature in your garden. It will make your garden extra inviting, and most of all, it will display different several kinds of textures, making it exciting for your guests when you get to showcase the plants that you have collected. Well, the hospitality centers across the UK is still not open. And just imagine me, if this was in my garden, I would have a tea here or a coffee or any drink and then just sit through while listening to the sounds of nature and enjoying the colors of what we call gardens. Now, if I look around here, there are many things that we can see. Wow, you can buy this. I love this way in my garden. Isn't that majestic? Look at the home. Or, oh my god, the flamingo, pink flamingo. Ang mga lagbang ng tingil, kaniwang sa ila. Or, I can also do ang manok ni San Pedro. Na ugis ang balahi. Or, wow. You know, when you go the outdoors, it's also good to have fire pit to keep you warm, especially in the cold winter or the cold summer summer nights. Sometimes, putangan mo lang sa juta ng kalayo. It brings a lot of dimension to your outdoor parties in your own home. I wish to have one. I've never had one yet, but I might borrow my neighbor's fire pit because they have a big one in their garden, and we used it last summer. Oh wow! Birds of paradise, fly with me, fly me to the moon because I quite like them. <laughs> and this place is just utterly lovely because you can enjoy and find things that you can put in your garden. That's why it's always fascinating to visit gardens across England. It was still early spring on this visit, that's why there are still a number of selections of plants being displayed. But it's still a great 
day to visit this place because you know what it allowed me to look at what there is to look forward to especially the different perennials being able to ask questions from the staff on when the items are coming and so that it gives me an idea of what to consider to put into my garden it really is a wonderful visit because with this it allowed me to really examine things that i can put into consideration just like plants that would really invite more bees or really attract a lot of pollinators because there are so many fruit trees in our garden nowadays and on this visit i really loved it because i was able to look at new plants that i might consider putting in my garden in the future garden centers always give me that sense of peace and that sense of joy even if i don't get to buy everything it just gives me something to look forward to that next time there is something to always consider as an option. The variety of colors that they have here on display just makes it so attractive and I am just ever so excited that I can also make my garden look like the displays here. You know what? It is a very challenging task to make your garden look exciting and I am just as excited as you all when I can finally complete my garden and feature it here on my YouTube channel. So watch this space, you will love it. So my visit here for the first garden center for today is almost over. Well, I've seen some of the plants that I consider interesting but haven't decided yet whether I would purchase them or buy. So perhaps I would go to the next garden center and see what I can find there. So this is in Bosworth's. Now we'll take you to the trip to my next one, which is the Barnwell Country Park. See you there! I am here now in Barnwell Country Garden because I'll be looking at the things that I have here. Earlier, you were with me following me at Bosworth. Now, another garden center is to be explored by me. Are you ready? So come, follow me and come with me inside as we explore. The Barn Garden Center, just a few minutes drive from Bosworth. We are in the barn. You know what? This is a small country garden center, but quite amazing. So let's see if I get to find some beautiful items here that I can put in my garden. Are you ready? Come, explore with me. Welcome to the Barn Garden Center in Aundel. It is an independent, family-run garden center found in the heart of the Nen Valley and now includes the Boxwood Cafe. Well, it's very unfortunate that we got so early in this garden center and they have not much display of plants yet. That's why it looks bare and empty. But they told us that in the next three weeks when I come back, all of the summer bedding plants will be ready and then I can start to purchase. So unfortunately, it will just be a very quick visit here. But I'm so looking forward to have this Boxwood Cafe open very soon because they serve fantastic cakes in here. And every time I'm here, I get such a lovely ketchup. Oh my God, a little droplet of snow. <laughs> And it's April! Well, welcome indeed here in the barn centre, but at the moment, I can only show you some sections of this garden centre. Okay, there you go!
rain started to fall so I have to be indoors now and look what's inside there and perhaps have a short visit here in Barn Country Scent Garden Center. Okay, see ya! Well, if you can hear the raindrops, it's crazy. It's April showers, it's finally now. Just like here, everything is empty at the moment but nevertheless, we'll be back to show you more of my visit to the different garden centers. Here in Barn Center, I love you and you take care. And please say, Mabuhay. Bye. So, thank you so much for following this little vlog about my visit to the garden center. Soon you will see my own garden.